be off a catch and shoot and somebody might have, and you know, like we might have a new center. So, you know, they might have 10 or 12, 30 off the pick and roll, something like that. We lose the game, right? But it ain't have nothing to do with me and Brute. Guess who's going to get the message? It's going to be me and Brute. Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good Damn 2K land, man. So it all started with this tweet from Job Bridge Fourth Man saying 2K players have better halftime stats than casual. I mean, they are professional players, uh, league players in one game of wreck, and then they think all of a sudden that they're a better player, man. Now, I ain't gonna lie to man. I, I can't take this seriously because my man got heck of, he got he got a crazy amount of laughing emojis up there. I don't even think he's serious, but y'all know y'all know what it is. We just gonna talk about it, man. He just says, Hey, I need a contract to this day, to this day. I need a contract. Uh, I know I'm better than this dude. And he says, uh, who really who really the 2K League player, man? This is just the halftime stats. He's got 18 and 8, man. And and like like I said, man, like look. I think a lot of people just just take stuff too personally, man. Cause it's just like, like, well, man, just look, I, I don't know about y'all. Don't y'all know like every game I lose on 2K, I get a message. And I'm not even good at the game. Think about that. Every single game, whether I'm in the wreck, whether I'm playing park, I could be playing random, what, what is it called? Random uh, theater where you know that I'm playing with randoms. I get a message and I'm nobody. So if you are a 2K league player, just imagine how that's gonna get amplified when somebody recognizes you and go, and then they going at me, they going at me super hard too, bro. They ain't gonna lie to you. Like they be going so hard, like they life depends on it. Like, like, like some games when I know, when I, I know when somebody recognizes me, cause, cause they, they sit here with their hand in my chest and just push me and all this stuff. Like, like, man, get your hands off me, man. I don't need all that. I don't know you like that, man. Come on, chill out. So like, like, that's what I know. And they play I'm like, dang, this dude playing suspiciously hard. He must know who I am. I can't get no shots. You know, it is what it is, man. Sometimes dudes do that. And then I'm going to get messages. And a lot of times they tweet it and they at me and all of that, man. So if you're, if you're somebody that's 10 times or 30 times, 100 times more popular than me, why do you think you're going to be any exception, bro? Like, these dudes going to talk trash. Let them dudes talk they trash. So a lot of people, I mean, a lot of a lot of guys got mad or what have you. This man right here, I think he said it best, uh, the real hoodie. He just says, man, I mean, in his defense, if you were playing against a pro basketball player, IRL, and you, got, and, and you, um, and you outplayed him, you talk your trash too. Uh, of course, I don't. It don't really matter. But can't hate on dude for talking his trash, man. That's that's what I think about that. I think that the biggest part of it is it doesn't matter what you think. That's the biggest part of it. It doesn't matter. None of it matters. It's a virtual basketball game, man. You beat me in a virtual pickup basketball. None of it matters. Like, if uh, it don't matter how good I am. It doesn't matter how tall I am. It doesn't matter that in real life I'm 6'4", 230, and I move like a deer, and, like, I can go through the lane like a truck, and nobody could really stop me, and and, and I'm probably playing against somebody on the other end. Of, none of that matters if he's 6'1", and he's 118, and, and, and I can just run right through him. It doesn't matter on this game, on this game, on that day. Hey, guess what i won i mean it's just i don't get it man the sensitivity of the of the whole thing so anyway this whole thing devolved into a whole a whole deal well like i said i don't think dude was serious at all i think he was just just really really just talking man um and, and just 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 doing what everybody does when they beat they beat me they beat brute they beat whatever they are going to they're gonna do that and then you know people just i mean it just it's just it's just crazy devolved into something that was just like this right here like this guy thinks he's better than the 2k league player so pimp name pops he just says it's it's it's, it's asinine that that y'all think that pro league players are automatically better just because they're pro some of us just enjoy playing the game but we'll mess up we'll mess up anybody pro or not it's still a game at the end of the day and i got years of this stuff forget that weak league now i'm not gonna lie to y'all man like some people think that um uh, you know, they, a lot of people didn't agree with that. I'm gonna tell y'all this right here, man. Everybody knows, and if y'all don't, I'm sorry for you. Everybody knows somebody that could play in the real NBA. We all know guys that was real good at basketball, and we know even like you know Alamo guys like those in in in, in and one. We know somebody that could have played college ball, could have played in the league, or they could have played somewhere, but they just had no interest in it. Why? Because they was in them streets. That's why I know a whole lot of guys from where I'm from 
they got the scholarships, went played one year, but they loved them streets. They came back home. And so you, you know what I'm saying? And everybody know, like, dang, man, yo, bro, we know guys that went to the all-star games, messed them guys up, and then that guy that he messed up got on to the league. So, so like, 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 and then like my homeboy Ramp say, there's some people out here that can play this game besides us, man. So to think, I think, I think it's it's a two-way street. Uh it's like to think that the only people that can play the game at a high level are the comp players, I think that's just dumb. But at the same time, uh, what a lot of people would say, if you can play it at a high level, why aren't you playing comp? But now we say it. Some people would just like to play the game and just just play it and that's it. Some people don't have the time to play it. Some people, it is a severe pay cut like myself. I'm not saying I could play in the NBA 2K League. I'm just saying it would be a severe pay cut for me to do so because it just would be. I mean, it's, it's less than half of what I make, less than a third of what I make in a year, what they make. So it's, 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 it's levels to that as well. I don't think anybody thinks that I don't think anybody really thinks that they could play in the 2K League. I just think that you're always going to get a whole lot more talking because there's no physical component to it. Like there are minimums that you got to meet. Like you're not going to be 5'8 and go to the go to the real league, right? But uh, unless you like Isaiah Thomas or somebody like that. But and, and you can't jump. Like a lot of people, we 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 we're not tall enough. We're not fast enough. We're not strong enough. We're slow. We just all this stuff. All those things work against us, and we just not. We're just not going to the league. I'm not. I'm never going to the league. I never did. It's just never gonna happen. But a lot of the people feel like if they buckled down and if they played this joint as much as the next dude did, they could actually make it to the league. That's how they feel. Whether it be right, wrong, indifferent, true, false, or whatever. Where else can you go out there? play the game, run up on so I'm never going to play against LeBron. If I do, he probably going to kill me. But if I win that one game, guess what's going to happen? I'm going to be yap, 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 Anyway, the whole point is this thing evolved and it got to like Joe Nose or what, <laughs> what have you. Uh, this, this was one that uh, Barkley said, man. He says, I agree, but I don't think that I don't think that just because uh, you're a 2K league player, you're the best of the best. A lot of guys just don't want to be in the league because, and, and I'm going to tell you why, because of the amount of time that it takes, all this stuff like that. Anyway, all this happened and somehow Joe knows name gets brought in. They're like, Joe knows is a casual and he wins leagues and he does this and he does. Let me tell y'all something right now. Joe knows ain't no casual, bro. That dude right there is gone. Like if you watch them boys play, you watch Bauer stream, you watch his stream when he, he's going to, Five out you with the squad that's built to to highlight his game. Five out you to death. Dunk meter you to death. And then guess what? When you step back and try to do that, he's going to step back and he's going to shoot the three from that dead stop middle. And he ain't missing that joint, man. Hey, Joe knows ain't no casual. Now, I think they want to, like he said, he was, he was talking about it. He said, hey, I do content for casual so people might lump me in with the casual, but the truth of the matter is he, that, that, that young man ain't no casual, man. It is what it is. Uh, but, but let's highlight this again. It doesn't matter. Like, who cares? Like, all of us, like, if you play college ball or something like that, man, or play it on the, even your high school team, you play somebody in the, in, 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 an open gym or something, and then they they win a game against you. What they say? They say, <laughs> I should have your position on the team. I mean, it's, it's just part of the trash talk gambit. That's just how it goes. Nobody really wanted to be on the team. A lot of them guys that wanted to be on the team, they could have been on the team. Or oh, oh, we knew, bro, come on, bro. You're, you're not even halfway good enough. I'm going one-tenth speed. You know all this stuff. I'm going one-eighth speed. I'm doing this. I'm doing it, bro. I'm not going hard against y'all out here, and you're, you're just barely competing, and you're competing with your life. So, it is what it is, but that boy Splashy, he just came through and he just says, also Joe knows it's not casual. That dude is comp too. And a lot of people don't want to admit that, but they want to act like he's still casual. They want to act like he's not this, that, the third. But uh, last year they were saying, <laughs> Joe knows should be like, the, the game is messed up because Joe knows and, and his team is beating professional players. They shouldn't be able to do. Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. It's just like. I don't know what y'all want to say. Is he casual or whatever? But what we know is that he's slapping people. So he's when he's slapping y'all, he's just exploiting the game. But but he's not casual. He he's super. I don't know, man. I'm gonna tell y'all what my opinion on the whole thing is. Again, none of this matters, man. It's uh, who cares, bro? Like that's that's what I keep saying. Like it's just funny when somebody beats somebody and they and they do good against somebody that's a pro. They get excited. You're not excited. They're going to drop their videos or they're going to drop their stuff. They're going to do what they're going to do. And then I just think it like, like, listen, man, that's the purest form of flattery because you thought that much of me to drop a video on me. That's all I'm saying. But hey, that boy Joe knows he came back and he had some stuff to say, man. It was just funny, man. Like this right here was too funny. I don't know who made this. 
No, oh, anyway, I had to sound off, man. Hold on, man. This was this was just too funny, man. He just like it look. Rice stick fucking rapper in my shit. <laughs> the motherfuckers rice stick Bro, fucking who did rapper that, in my man? shit. Like I said, man, it's just too funny. The whole thing devolved real quick, but Joe had a whole thing to tell them boys about this, man. Cause uh, one guy was saying like Joe knows, uh, dropped him off. And he was like, well, you're not going to have that bill. That's not a league bill. And Joe had to respond to that with this. Like y'all are talking about the fact that my build is not going to be in league build. Neither is a fucking 6'6 fucking shooting guard with 80 to 90 standing dunk. Neither is a fucking lockdown with 90 perimeter, 99 steel, 85 fucking speed, 95 fucking strength, 90 standing dunk. Like, come on. I'm playing against this fucking lockdown, foaming out the fucking mouth. His fucking pupils are dilated. Hey. He's fucking locked in. I gotta be locked in too. Take this fucking dunk meter, boy. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck do I have to water my build down when these fucking lockdowns don't? Hey. Yo, listen. If I'm fucking running point guard and I stand here I for do. two seconds, the motherfucker's right stick fucking ripper in my shit. I'm fucking running like this, trying not to get plugged. But I gotta water my fucking build down? Like, goddamn realistic. Oh, man. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> oh, what the man. fuck are we talking about? These motherfuckers, bro, they're making fucking 300 right about pound this too. These fat fucking lock lockdown builds. Like, fucking this? Fucking run stick? Fucking Ripper <laughs> Bro, who edited this video, what man? The fuck? But that shit's gonna be in the fucking league build? Oh, that's the league build. My bad, brother. Hey, but like you said, man, he's just talking about how we constantly move the goalposts. Like, when you do something, I'm the greatest. When I do something, I'm the greatest. When you do it, it doesn't matter, man. Like, I don't know, man. Like, I just don't get how we constantly move the goalposts and stuff like this, man. And we always, like, in this community, go out go out of our ways to try to act like what somebody did. Like, like why we try to diminish somebody's accomplishment? Obviously, if somebody dropped them points against you, when you when you come in there and, and like, me and Brute playing, and like I said, they gonna, me and Brute gonna get the message. We playing with just us we just out here just playing with whoever from the chat and mac and then mac get 30 points drop we just gonna use mac for it. I, I my guy might have two points brute dude got two points so the guards up top didn't really do anything mac guy caught got 30 off a of catch and shoot and somebody might have and you know like we might have a new center so you know they might have 10 or 12 30 off the pick and roll something like that we lose the game right but it didn't have nothing to do with, with me and brute guess who gonna get the message it's gonna be me and brute Brute really gonna get the message because I ain't nobody, but y'all understand what I'm saying, man. So I think it's just some of this stuff that just come with the territory, man. I don't know. I don't know why people take this game so seriously. Like, 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 I think again, because there's no physical component to the game, there's no real physical component, there's no physical barriers, there's no no act barriers to entry in these things. I think people gonna always feel like, you know, if I really took it seriously, I could. And I think a lot of people could because a lot of people are good enough. Like, like you can't teach the the actual skills or whatever. But I, I think a lot of people just equated with if I had enough time or if I laid on this game like y'all do, then I could get there. And I think that's what it is. We know it don't matter how much we practice. We can't never be LeBron James, but we might be, we might feel like, hey, if I learn how to use that dunk meter and I play this game, I might could be La Five out. I don't know, man. It, like I said, to me, it, it really don't matter. It's just all entertainment at the end of the day. Like, it's just like, <laughs> why we care, man? I think the reason I take it, I don't take it seriously is because I still be playing basketball and I'm like 45 years old and I can still get out there and hoop and do my thing. And it's just like, this is a virtual game. So it's never going to click to me that there are actual pros at this. And it's never going to click to a lot of people that are actual pros at this that are better. Like there's levels to be like this person is better than me. And he got to a level that I cannot get to because I got the control in my hand. And I think a lot of people feel that same way. That's 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 the only reason that people say stuff like that or whatever in the video game. But like I said, man, like my like dude said, man, that man won the game. Let him talk his trash. That's why I do. I let people talk their trash. You're not going to come to my, my stream and talk that trash. You're probably going to get banned, but not right after the game. Anyway, wait a couple of games. Wait down on one one and say, hey, man. We played y'all a couple of games ago, GG or something like that. But them dudes sprint to the chat. I don't even know how they absolutely sprint to the chat and it's going to be GG's or whatever. But I banned GG's and the word ads in my chat. So you ain't going to say that to me. <laughs>
I got the last. Anyway, man, like I said, this stuff don't matter, man. Like, it's just funny to, to report on good news or whatever. Um, I think that everybody really, like, I think a lot of times people overreact and, like, the comp community just loves to go to level 10 to prove that I'm doing something. It's just like, I'm doing something that that you cannot do and, and, and you can't do it and you couldn't do it even if you tried a million years on your best day, brother. Yo, now, yeah, yeah, now I, I'm doing something that y'all can't do with the 26 inch pythons and all of that. Like, come on, man, stop it, bro. Like, it is what it is, man. That, it's just like, like they, they, they want to gatekeep their cult community so bad, but guess what? A lot of us feel like you can have it. Do what you dazzle. Y'all can have that. I don't want it. I want to keep fixing computers and networks. That's what I want to do. But let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. <laughs> it's just funny to me, man. I like, like my boy Hard Eight Times say, that, that shit funny to me. I'm glad, though. I'm glad something out there. Keep it going, though, so we can report on this all week. And the 2K community been so dry that I ain't been able to drop no videos in weeks. The Primetime channel going crazy over there, though. So go check that link. It's down in the description. The new channel's up there. We talk about Prime. We talk about sports. We talk about everything, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm going to y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.